it is time for our uh, dollars and cents segment, which is a way we bring to you a good tip to help you with your money in retirement. And I want to talk about spousal benefits with Social Security and clear up a couple. Excuse me, clear up a couple of misconceptions. First off, the spouse that earned the lower wages and has a lower earnings base can draw the greater of his or her own benefit or one half the spouse's benefit. Uh, so if, if one spouse stayed at home, for example, my wife works primarily in the home. So when she, when, when I retire and we're drawing social security, she draws the greater of either her own benefit that she's eligible for or one half of mine. That may not look like exactly half because we're not the same age. And remember, if your full benefit is at age 66, every month you back up from 66, it reduces your benefit, which we've talked about before. But So it may not look exactly like half, but if you're getting two paychecks where one is significantly off that, like one of them's 1800 a month and the other's like 400 a month, something's wrong there more than likely, and I would go to the Social Security office and, and inquire about that. The other is widow and widower benefits. Um, when your spouse passes away, the, the surviving spouse receives the greater of the two benefits. Uh, so you lose one of the benefits. You lose the benefit that is the lower benefit, and then the surviving spouse immediately steps up uh, to that benef- to that full benefit of the of the deceased spouse if it was a higher benefit. Uh, you can draw widow benefits, widow or widower benefits, as early as age sixty. You do not have to wait till age sixty two. But again, that is two hours, or excuse me, two days earlier. So it is going to discount how much you're drawing a little bit more. And then one other thing I want to clarify on spousal benefits. Benefits is if you're divorced, you still are eligible for up to half of your ex-spouse's benefit as long as you were married for at least 10 years. And uh, uh, that's important distinction. And, and you cannot remarry. Uh, if you remarry, you then immediately tie yourself to your new spouse and you would then be eligible for spousal benefits from your new spouse. But to be eligible for spousal benefits for an ex-spouse, it's uh, you have to have been married ten years, but that's worth checking into. It's easy. Social Security is pretty good about you know if 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 when you're married they they automatically calculate those numbers. But if you're divorced, they're not necessarily going to know that unless you bring it to their attention and make sure that you're drawing as much benefit as you can. Okay.